Hi, my name is Björn Hultgren and I work as a program manager for manufacturing at IFS R&D. In this video you will learn how to sequence shop order operations using manufacturing visual planning. The objective of sequencing is to schedule operations in an optimal execution order, typically to minimize the setup time and maximize the throughput of a bottleneck resource. In this example I will show you how to sequence shop order operations on a painting work center. Changing from a darker to a brighter color requires extra cleaning of the paint booth while we will try to sequence operations starting with the brighter colors. To achieve this, I have connected a characteristic code for color brightness to the work center. The characteristic values for the color will be fetched either from the inventory part record or if the part is configured, the shop order configuration. I have also defined the setup times changing from different values of the color brightness. As you can see, there is no setup time when changing from a brighter to darker color, but one hour setup when changing from a darker to a brighter color. So now we are ready to search for the operations on the painting work centers that we want to sequence. The color of the operations in the Gantt can be based on a number of different options. As we connected the color brightness as a characteristic code to the work center, we can select this option. So now we can study how the operations are scheduled before the sequencing. And as you can see, we have a bit of overload on July 3rd with 16.7 hours loaded out of 16 available hours. However, on July 2nd, we still have some available capacity. We also have operations scheduled overlapping another and changing from one to another color this frequently will require a lot of setup. To launch the sequencing assistant, I will open the resource card and click sequence. In the first assistant step, I can select what operations to include. And in this example, I will include all the operations. Optionally, it is also possible to enter an operation priority to control the sequence order. And this is useful when not using characteristics like we do in this example. In the next step, you can see that color brightness is already added as the characteristic code to base the sequencing on since it was entered on the work center. Next, I will enter the start date and time when the first operation should start. Let's say July 2nd, 6 a.m. And I will make sure that the use setup matrix option is enabled to use the setup times that we defined on the work center. So now we can see how the operations were scheduled to start one after another, starting with the brighter colors then changing to medium brightness, and finally, we have scheduled the dark colored parts. A message also informs that the total setup time was reduced from six and a half hours to just half an hour. So thank you for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe to the IFS YouTube channel.